Hey guys, this is Il Donde Jockey with a review of Apple's new Magic Mouse and a tour of my Mac setup. Hey guys, so my main computer is the 2009 Nihalem Mac Pro, which is configured as follows. Well, my Nihalem Mac Pro has the following specs. It has two Intel Xeon 5500 series processors running at a speed of 2.66 GHz, meaning that my Mac Pro is an octocore model, which, with the use of Nihalem's hyperthreading, means that I have a total of 16 virtual cores. The system also has an ATI Radeon, 4870 graphics card with 512 megabytes of VRAM, which is GDDR5 memory, meaning that this is a very fast graphics card, not only under Mac OS X, but especially under Windows, when I'm playing games which are very demanding, like Crisis. I also have 6 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, which is running in tri-channel at a speed of 1066 megahertz. This is the standard that came with the computer. I have a standard 640 gigabyte Hitachi hard drive running at 7200 RPM. I also have one a super drive that came with the computer and on the top drive I have, I have an LG Blu-ray burner which can uh, burn Blu-ray discs at a speed of 8x, which is the fastest speed on the market. I also have an Apple standard keyboard, which is the wired version. I have an Apple Mighty Mouse, and which is now being replaced by Apple's new uh, Magic Mouse. I have uh, a 30-inch Apple Cinema display, which I must say is truly amazing, especially for its picture quality and uh, it just simply looks great running games under Windows. I have a 32 inch high definition TV uh, of Samsung connected to my uh, Mac Pro. I have uh, Bose Companion 3 speakers which deliver excellent sound quality and I have a Canon MX700 series printer. I also have a 2006 black MacBook running Mac OS X Tiger, although it is outdated, I still use the system for everyday uh, computing at school and just basically on light tasks. I mean, my Mac Pro is truly a beast computer and I love using it every day at home for video editing or anything else. So this is my basic Mac Pro setup. Here's the 30 inch Apple Cinema display. There's the Nihala Mac Pro with the Bose subwoofer. Here's my MX700 printer of Canon. And here you can see my 32 inch Samsung HD TV which is connected to my Mac Pro. Hey guys, so now it's time for the unboxing of Apple's brand new Apple Magic Mouse and we'll see if it truly does beat its predecessor, the Apple Mighty Mouse. Okay guys, so let's get straight to the unboxing of the Apple Magic Mouse. So as you can see here, this mouse is truly elegant in design. But not only is it elegant in design, but it has a whole bunch of multitasking features which will help you in your day-to-day -day computing on your new lovely and brand new Macs. Okay, so let's start taking this mouse out and get it ready. this is it this is how it looks it's truly beautiful 
So in the box, you'll probably get this instructions manual, it just tells you how to set it up. And it also has some uh, tips and tricks on how to use the mouse, but all this could be seen online on YouTube. You can come on my channel and I'll show you it also. Or you can just go on Apple's website and there's all sorts of tips and tricks on how to use the mouse. So it's time to tell the Mighty Mouse goodbye and lay it to rest. Okay guys, well I just set up my brand new Apple Magic Mouse and I must say that doing so was very easy. It was very simple. You could just check out Apple's website or the instructions that came with the box on how to do so. I don't think I have to tell you because it's quite easy. And I have to say that I truly love using this new mouse. I mean, the feel is so much better than Apple's old Mighty Mouse. Uh, you can set the buttons basically to how you want to use them. If you don't like the uh, many options with the multi-touch, you can reset the mouse and just enable standard uh, the standard con uh, con configuration of a, like a regular mouse. But I must say that the Apple Magic Mouse is so much better than its predecessor. I mean, just look at it from an aesthetic standpoint. Wait, let me just put it on my hand like this. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, it's, it's truly wonderful. I mean, I don't think words can say how great it is and how happy I am with it. And I mean, just using it is great. And whatever you see online is basically what it does do. And it does it great. So once again, this new Apple Magic Mouse is really a great buy. And I mean, for the $69 I spent on it, because I live here in Canada, it was really worth the upgrade from my old mouse. And it really works well with my Mac Pro. So just make sure that when you buy the mouse, you have Mac OS X 10.5.8 or later and that you get the software update which makes the mouse run better. So once again, I truly love this mouse and I guarantee you'll love it and I really recommend you buy it. Thank you.